My name is Kaita. I'm a freshman in high school. I'm an introverted loner. You'd expect one person in a class like that, but in our class, there was another. Shiran Shirakawa. She had long bangs and always wore a mask, so most of her face was usually covered. She would always read during recess and always had her head down. She had a mysterious and almost suspicious vibe. How did we end up next to each other? Two introverts sitting next to each other. There was a gloomy vibe around our corner of the room, like a funeral or something. I felt empathy towards Shion because we were similarly introverted and loners. But it wasn't like we're friends. As a matter of fact, I'd never spoken to her before. You're so gloomy, Shion. Can't you brighten up a little? The popular kids in class started harassing her. They hassled me too, but she looked even more plain than I did, so she was targeted more often. Can I help you? We thought of something fun! Why don't you entertain us? Ugh, I'm no fun to hang out with. Uh, who said we were hanging out? No thanks. Um, so what did you mean then? Look over to your left. You guys are both so gloomy. But we figured that two introverts might actually work. Show us if we're right or not. It's not like you guys will ever find a partner, so let us help you out. How nice of us, right? Um, can you just leave me alone? What about you, Kaita? You won't ever find a girlfriend, right? I've never even talked to her. Don't put her on the spot like that. So if she says yes, then you're okay with it, right? That's not what I said. We don't know each other at all. How can we go out with each other? Uh, hey, don't be greedy. Do you think you have a chance with cute girls like us? Uh, never. Way to be modest. What? You got a problem? No. Whatever. Just make a compromise. Can't hurt, right? Why are you guys trying to put us together? We want to observe how introverts interact romantically. Sounds fun, right? Um, from my side? I don't think that's entertaining at all. That's up to you two, right? Come on, try it out! What about a date this weekend? You're fine with that too, right, Xion? Can you stop deciding these things for me? Hmm, so you don't want to play along, huh? You sure that's a wise decision? Will you leave us alone if we go on a date? Hey, sounds like someone's on board! Alright you guys, talk it over. I'll be expecting a report on Monday. Kaita, uh... Sorry about that, Xion. I figured it would just be easier if we did as they wanted and got it over with. It's fine. I'm sorry you got involved in this. I didn't think that's how it was. I was a part of the plan all along. Anyways, let's not think of it as a date. Let's just go hang out this weekend. They'll get bored. Are you sure you're fine hanging out with me? Well, it's not like I'm a shut-in, so I'm fine with going out. Ugh, that's not what I meant. I meant, are you fine with being with me? Well, I could ask you the same thing too, right? Let's just cooperate for a peaceful high school life. Okay, if you say so. We exchanged numbers and planned a date on the weekend, like the popular kids requested. We didn't talk for the rest of the day, and it was the weekend. We exchanged the bare minimum amount of text messages and met up. Oh, sorry for being late, Kaita. She was wearing her mask as usual, and wore plain clothes with her long bangs. It definitely wasn't how you'd expect someone to dress on a date. Why are you always wearing a mask, Xi'an? Uh, because I'm embarrassed. Embarrassed about what? Because, um, I'm not cute. I'm embarrassed to show my face. What? That's all? You shouldn't be worried about that. I get nervous when people look at me. Well, that mask is attracting a lot of attention, you know? Have you noticed that people are staring at you? Uh, what? The people around us were glancing over at her curiously. Xion never noticed until now. 
Why are they looking at me? Because you look suspicious. Suspicious? Well, I don't want to sound mean, but it looks like you might be up to something no good. You should take that mask off. But <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Well, we're about to go into a coffee shop, right? The staff is going to be scared of you. That bad? Yeah. She seemed unsure at first, but finally, she made up her mind. Okay, then. Don't be scared at what you see, though. I won't. She took her mask off, and she had a very normal face. What do you think? Should I keep it hidden? No, not at all! As a matter of fact... <gasps> something caught my attention, and I pulled up Xion's bangs. When I saw her face in its entirety, she was gorgeous! I knew it! You have such a beautiful face, Xion! B b be b beautiful No, 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 I'm not. Yes, you are! I promise you. Hey, Xion, if you don't mind, can we actually go back to my place after this? I can prove to you how cute you are. What are you going to do to me? I'm going to give you a makeover! She seemed nervous but followed me home. If my predictions were right, Xion could be reborn into a completely new person. Hey, sis! Come in here real quick! You left on your first date this morning and you're already bringing back girls home with you? My sister noticed Xion and was grinning at me. No, it's not what you think. Um, this is the classmate that I was talking to you about, but I wanted to borrow one of your costumes. Which one? Xion, can you pull up your bangs real quick? Uh, okay. She didn't understand what was going on, but she pulled up her hair. Oh, holy crap, you're so cute! <sighs> Xion seemed to be nervous after my sister praised her looks. Don't you think she looks like her sis? Gotcha, Xion, right? Here, change into this! My sister understood what I was trying to say. Xion still seemed confused, but I left her with my sister and left the room. What do you think, Kaita? Perfect, right? Yeah, just as I thought. Uh, um, what's this? Xion, the magical girl idol. Xion was wearing a costume of an anime character. My sister set her bangs so you could see her face, and she was just as cute and looked just like the anime character. This is an anime costume? Yup. My sister's hobby is cosplay. I noticed that you look just like the anime character. So I knew you could pull it off. Kaita made this costume for me. Really? Yeah. My hobby is sewing. I don't do cosplay, but I make costumes for when my sister needs one. I didn't know you had such a talent. The clothes are cute, but I'm still the same me. I posted your picture on Instagram and look at all these likes. Y you uploaded that online? Sorry I didn't ask for permission, but it seemed like you weren't very confident about your looks, so I wanted you to understand how cute you actually are. All the comments were amazing, too. People were saying how cute she was, and how she was an angel, and how she was the live version of Xion, the magical girl idol. Wow, all these people? Xion was surprised at how good people's responses were, too. Why were you so unconfident about your looks, Xion? Look at how many people think you're cute. Well, boys used to tell me how ugly I was, and kids used to make fun of me for my face, so I, I thought it would be best if I just kept it hidden. I think they said those things because those boys liked you, Xion. Boys make fun of girls that they like all the time because they want them to notice them. It's just how boys are sometimes. Really? Is that how it is? Probably, but whatever. The past is the past. Look at what's happening right in front of you. This many people say that you're cute. If you start showing your face at school, I'm sure that people will start seeing you differently. You think? But, um, I have such a gloomy personality. Well, you can always change that, too. I'm pretty introverted, too, so I may be the wrong person to be telling you this, but you're Xion, the magical girl idol now. But I don't know that anime. I'll teach you everything you need to know, then! I gave her a lecture on things like the character's signature phrases and so on. 
She seemed embarrassed at first, but gradually she started getting into the groove. It must have been fun for her, because by the end, she was posing and saying the lines too. So, Kaita, how was your day with Xion? The group of extroverts started gathering around again. Xion wasn't here yet. It was fun, thanks to you. Oh yeah? I guess an introvert date is fun too. I can't even imagine what that looks like! Everyone laughed like they were making fun of me. Well, I'm sure they couldn't imagine what went down with us. So, where'd you go? My house. What? You guys already took it to that level? The standards must be different for introverts. I would never be able to take that plain Jane home with me. Yeah, me too. Good morning, Kaita. When Xion got to class, the two extroverts who were making fun of me just froze. There was already commotion from the moment she entered the room, but these two didn't even notice. Morning, Xion. Huh? Who are you? I said her name, but I guess it didn't process. You heard me. It's Xion Shirakawa. Standing in front of them wasn't the Shiran Shirakawa with the mask and bangs that covered her face. She may be dressed differently, but it was the magical girl idol version of Shion Shirakawa. No way! Are you really Shion Shirakawa? I can't believe it! Were you always this cute? I seem shocked at how cute Shion was. Kaita! Did you always know about her face? Nope. Found out yesterday, but she still has more to offer. Xion, show them! There was a big group that had formed around Xion. Xion understood what I meant, and she even did the movements. Xion, smile! <laughs> the boys started cheering after they saw Xion smile. That was the smile and pose that Xion the magical girl idol did when she was smiling to her fans. I had trained her the day before to get into the magical idol mode easier by calling me her name. Something similar to hypnosis. Xion, you want to hang out after school? No, wait. Hang out with me, Xion. All the boys started approaching her. Xion just stood there with an awkward smile. Sorry, I I'm not interested. Oh, come on. Just a little. Yeah, I'll show you a real good time. The extroverts seemed pretty jealous of Xion's newfound popularity. Are you... Dating her now, Kita? No, that's not how it is. We just went out yesterday like you told us to. Xian heard me talking to him and glanced over for a second, but was quickly overwhelmed by the other boys around her. Yeah, that makes sense. Xian is way out of your league. Hey, Xian! Forget about this loser! Come hang out with us! Hey! Uh... The popular boys just flip like that. And the girls in their group seemed upset. Everyone, including Xion and I, were surprised. You guys made fun of Xion, didn't you? Yeah, stop trying to act the victim all of a sudden. The boys gave him a taste of their own medicine. Hey, you guys are just going to throw us under the bus like that? Yeah, you guys are monsters. Stop complaining. What matters right now is where we go from here. The group of extroverts started arguing amongst themselves. The school bell rang, and things finally calmed down. Every time the bells rang, Xian was surrounded by boys. Xian maintained a good distance as she engaged in small talk with them. Xian isn't an introvert anymore. She's just a normal girl. I felt like she drifted away from me a bit, but now no one ever made fun of her again. This was a good step for her. I was walking home alone, as usual, when I heard someone running towards me. Wait up, Kaita! Xion? What's up? Why are you running? I wanted to walk home with you. Oh, you did? What about all those boys that are hitting on you? After school, Xion was surrounded by boys. I saw her saying no, but they were so persistent. I don't know what to do with all this popularity, so I just said no and ran away. What a waste. You're popular now. You should be living it up. Are you cool with that, Kaita? If I start hanging out with other boys? Well, I think you should do whatever you want, Xion. Some of those guys used to make fun of you, but not all of them. This is a good chance for you to make new friends. 
What about you, Kaita? Don't you want to make friends? No one wants to be friends with an introvert like me. I'm not too good with energetic atmospheres anyway. It's easier being alone. After I said that, Xion stepped in front of me. Best wishes for everyone! That's the phrase that Xion said with the magical pose! That was the spell that Xion, the magical girl idol, uses when she's trying to get everyone's spirits up and make everyone smile. Uh-huh. You can change too, Kaita! You helped me transform into Xion! Well, it's not like I have a good face like you. You have to want it first. I was a gloomy girl before too. It was so embarrassing practicing with you yesterday, you know? Yeah, I could tell. But you wanted to help me change, right? After you and your sister complimented me so much, I started feeling better about myself and more confident. Yeah, you really were the magical girl idol by the end. So now it's your turn to change, Kaita. You can't just make me do all those embarrassing things. That's unfair. Yeah, well, we had something to work off of for you. Then I'll change you with my magical powers. I'm the magical girl idol that's here to make everyone happier. You're really into that anime now, aren't you? <laughs> it's your fault, Kaita. You made me like this. So it's your responsibility. You made it sound like I did something bad for you. Xian kissed me on the cheek. I froze in shock for a second, and Xian smiled at me nervously. No, I mean you're responsible for making me feel this way towards you. So, you better take responsibility. But, why me of all people? I don't know, I just like you, okay? Wow, you really have changed. Says the guy who tries to bring a girl home on their first date. I guess she has a point. I'd never spoken to her before, and suddenly I took her home, made her get dressed into an anime costumes, and made her rehearse lines and strike poses. Yeah, I guess that's kind of out of character for an introvert. I guess. Sorry about all that. I was just so shocked, you know? <laughs> now it's my turn to change you to be happier all the time. Yes, please! A forced date ended up making me a girlfriend. If Xion could change so much, I'm sure I can too. I hope I change someday. Attention everyone! Anyone want to be Naoto's girlfriend? Uh, are any of you interested in a geek like me? Summer of freshman year in high school, I was looking for someone who would volunteer to be my girlfriend in class. How did I end up here? Undoubtedly, I'll be looking back on these days as some of the most embarrassing moments of my life. I've never had a girlfriend in my life. I didn't even have any friends in my class because I was such an introvert. The only person who ever talked to me was my childhood friend, Miki. We coincidentally started going to the same high school, and ended up in the same class. What are you thinking about? About how nice it would be to have a girlfriend. Three months after entering high school, we were approaching summer vacation, and I was complaining to Miki as we walked to school together. Well, why not try? What about you look for someone in this class? None of the other girls even talk to me. I've known Miki long enough to know what that grin means. She's thinking of a good way to tease me. I don't want to say something stupid and have these guys hate me even more either. You're already at the bottom of the food chain. You got nothing to lose. They'll think it's just the introvert's last stand and laugh it off. I don't want to just be a clown for everyone to laugh at. Oh, come on. I got your back. Trust me. No, please, don't make me do this. I already knew that my pleas wouldn't reach her. Once Miki makes up her mind about something, she never changes her mind. She'll do anything to get a good laugh out of making fun of me. She's a professional mocker of sorts. Attention, everyone. Raise your hand if you want to be Naoto's girlfriend. No, are we seriously doing this? What the hell are you anyways? No one even knows your name, you John Doe. Yeah, no one's interested, you geek! My classmates just heckled and laughed at me. See? Everyone's enjoying this. What was the point of this? Come on, you try too, Naoto. This might at least help you make some friends, right? Ah, oh, damn it! I've reached the point of no return. Screw it! I'm looking for a girlfriend right now! I'm just a geek that loves animals and there isn't much I can brag about. But please, raise your hand if you'll have me! Dead silence. Oh, 
crap. I think I just ended my entire high school life. I was regretting it more and more by the second. But a few seconds passed, and one of the girls raised her hand. Here, Karen Mizuki. I'd like to volunteer to be your girlfriend, Naoto. Huh? What? What? Instantly, the room went wild. The girl who raised her hand was the most popular girl in school, Karen Mizuki. She was gorgeous and had a great personality. It was rumored that she already had been asked out by over a hundred guys since entering this high school. Oh, nice one, Karen. I'm serious. Hey, Naoto, I don't think you're good enough for her. You should say no. Yeah, but... Karen didn't give me much time to even think about it. She got up and walked up to me. So, will you be my boyfriend, Naoto? Uh, yeah. Sure. Karen, why are you volunteering yourself to be that geek's girlfriend? Yeah, seriously, you're so much better than him. The classroom was thundering with everyone's disapproval. However... Stop talking badly about my boyfriend! <laughs> Karen silenced the room in one breath. Naoto, let's exchange numbers. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Text me a bunch, okay? And let's eat lunch together today. Yes, please. Why is Karen so enthusiastic? I hope she's not just messing with me. Ugh, it's not going to work out anyways. I'm the only one who likes you, Naoto. Wanna walk home together, Naoto? Um, yes. Miki, I'm going home with Karen today, okay? Whatever. You better watch out, though. If you put your hands on her, you're gonna have a bunch of enemies in no time. I wouldn't do such a thing. Okay, shall we? Yes, let's go. Jeez, he's all excited. Well, enjoy it while it lasts. The next morning... Oh, Miki, good morning. Good morning. Is Naoto ready yet? Huh? Naoto left a while ago. He said he was meeting someone. What? He said he was meeting his girlfriend. Is it true he has a girlfriend now? Yeah, that's true. She's in our class. Oh, okay. But he has you already, Miki. What are you talking about? We're just childhood friends. Well, I have to go now too. Okay. Take care. Thanks. Ugh, I can't believe they're walking to school together. He should have given me a heads up at least. Sorry for keeping you waiting, Naoto. No problem. I just got here too. Thanks for walking with me. No, it's my pleasure. It's flattering that you would want to walk with someone like me. Okay, no more of that kind of talk, alright? Huh? You're my boyfriend now, Nato. Don't say things like that to belittle yourself. Have more confidence. But... I'm on your side, Nato. No matter what anyone says, you're the one I like, Nato. Oh, thank you. Also, you can relax and act more naturally around me. I'm just a normal girl. And we're boyfriend and girlfriend now, right? I'll do my best. And... hold my hand? Huh? Oh, okay. I still can't believe it. The most popular girl at my school is walking besides me. We ate lunch together yesterday, and we talked so much on our way home, too. After I got home, I talked to her on the phone and exchanged text messages. It was beginning to feel more real to me, but one question remained. Why me? Naoto, I made lunch for you too, like I promised. I hope you like it. Thanks, Karen. Okay, open up. No, no, I can eat by myself. Come on, let me do this. Please? Uh, How is it? Oh, good. Oh, thank God. Let me know if you have any requests. I'll try my best to make them for you. Thanks, Karen. Ugh. It won't last long. It won't. Later, I left the house a little bit early to meet up with Karen. But when I opened the door, Miki was standing there. Morning, Nato. Miki? What are you doing here so early? I thought I'd walk halfway with you. Okay, sure. 
It feels like it's been a while since I walked with Miki, even though it's only been two weeks. Looks like things are going well with Karen, Nato. Yeah, about that. I was so surprised at first. But once we started talking, I realized how normal she was. It's only been two weeks, but high school life is so much fun now compared to what it used to be. Cool. Good for you. It's all thanks to you, Miki. Yeah, don't you forget that. You really never were any good on your own, Naoto. I'm really grateful. I even have a date this weekend. Huh? Yeah. Karen invited me. She said that she wants to spend time with me on the weekends, too. Oh, is that so? Good for you. <laughs> He's all excited and everything. Miki? What's wrong? Are you mad? No, not at all. I'll go now. Don't want to get in the way of you lovebirds. Huh? Miki? Jeez. I'm sick of hearing him brag about their relationship. This wasn't how I planned it. I just wanted him to see that I was the only one for him. Okay. He's in the bathroom. Now's my chance. Karen, can you come with me? I'd like to have a word with you. Huh? Sure. But do we really need to change spots? Um. I don't want the others to hear. Okay, then. Karen, I want you to be honest with me. What's so great about Naoto? That came out of the blue. If you're just playing him, I want you to break up with him. I don't want him to get hurt. Yeah. I'm not. I really do like him. But why? He's like a super introverted geek. He's got no friends, he's always jittery, and he gets nervous when he talks to people. He's not even that handsome or anything. You can do better. Why are you talking so badly of him? I'm just trying to say that you can do better. What do you mean? Well, you're so popular, you can choose pretty much whoever you want. There's no need to choose a geeky guy like... You're not the only one who notices how amazing Nato is, Miki. <gasps> Nato loves animals. Whenever he sees a hurt animal, he can't ignore it. When he sees someone in need in town, he helps them out. He has a gentle and caring heart. Wait, how do you know? I was content with just watching him from a distance because I knew that you like him, Miki. But that day, you tried to make a fool of him. That's why I decided to step up. What? I didn't know. I thought I was the only one who knew Nato that well. I didn't realize that there was anyone else who noticed him. Please, give Naoto back to me. Naoto isn't an object. I'm sorry, okay? Just give me my Naoto back. Miki? Wait, why are you here, Naoto? When I got back to class, I couldn't find either of you. One of the guys in class told me that you took Karen with you, and I got concerned. But what you guys were just talking about, is that... Sorry, Naoto. Actually, I've liked you for a long time now. But you never noticed me, and you started telling me how you wanted a girlfriend, so... So I wanted you to see how I was the only one who you could ever be with. Are you talking about how you put me in front of the class that day? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I didn't think that it would turn out like this. But I like you now, Toe. So I want you to give me another chance. Another chance? But we weren't even dating. You're my boyfriend, right, Naoto? Karen? A soft marshmallow on my arm. Nothing to worry about, Naoto. It's not like she's your ex-girlfriend or anything. You guys are just childhood friends. I'm your first and only girlfriend, Naoto. Karen was pressing up on me almost as if she was showing it off to Miki. And as I expected, when I looked at Miki, her face looked angry. Naoto! The only reason why she's your girlfriend is thanks to me, right? Basically, you can't do anything without me. That's why you're mine. Miki came and grabbed my other arm. What's going on right now? What a patronizing thing to say. I've been by your side all this time, Naoto. I understand you better than anyone. The past is the past. What's important is right here, right now. Naoto and I are going to create a future together. Huh? Naoto, you're my boyfriend, right? Naoto, I'm the one who stood by you all these years, right? Naoto? Naoto! 
Um, uh... Make up your mind! What's going on? I haven't even had a girlfriend until recently. I can't deal with two girls at once! God, if you're up there, please help me! When I climbed up the stairs... <coughs> what? A girl just came falling down? <laughs> there we go. Uh, what? Are you okay? Ah, uh, yes. That was my first encounter with her. My name is Kaoru Himekawa. I'm second year in high school. People tell me that my name is Gurui, but I am actually quite fond of it. And this petite person inside my arms is... You're Hinano from the same class as me, right? Yes. Her name is Hinano Asakura. She's a quiet girl in my class known as the Miss Boring. Uh, th 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 thank, thank you very much. Nah, no worries. Nothing special. Uh, 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 aren't I, um, heavy? Why? Are you emotionally clingy? <laughs> that, that's not what I meant. She was blushing bright red. Oh, I guess she was talking about that. I did find it strange. Hinano was often teased in class as being chubby, but I was able to catch her ever so easily. Rather, she was really light. Even though she came falling down from a high place, neither my arms, back, nor legs hurt at all. I'm so glad that I kept my body in shape after my sister. Miyako told that men and women should have body stamina. So it means that my body is strong enough to catch a girl who comes falling from the sky. By the way, why did you fall off the stairs? I was rushing and then I slipped. <laughs> You're a little clumsy, huh, Hinano? <laughs> but I'm glad you weren't hurt though. Let's go back to the classroom then. When I started walking, Hirano made a voice saying, uh, Are we going like this? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't notice. I guess holding her like this was an embarrassing thing for a high school girl like her. There we go. Is this okay? That, that's not what I meant. I gave her a piggyback ride and yeah, she sure was light. Everyone in our class called her chubby, but my were they wrong. A few days after that incident, after school, a rare case occurred where the queen bee of the class, Serina Fujishima, came to talk to me. Hey you, why were you giving Miss Boring a piggyback ride into the classroom the other day? Hmm? Because she was embarrassed to be held in the front. Huh? I'm not asking her preferences in which position to be held. I'm asking your relationship with her. She's a classmate? The same as you. Ugh, stop making that frustrating face. After this, I explained the situation to angry Serena. Hmm, but for you to catch Miss Boring like that, you're quite strong, huh? <laughs> well, I do work out. I do 300 push-ups, sit-ups, back extensions, squats, each every day. Ugh, I'm not talking about that. I meant to say it's amazing you were able to catch such a chubby girl like her. Well, she was rather light. Oh yeah, I tried holding Serena too. But, what are you doing? Hmm, mm, I think you're heavier, Serena. Huh? You can't be talking about other people like that. Sh shut up! Just put me down! On my way home that day, I met Hinano at the school gate. Oh, um, uh, Kaoru. Hey, are you going home too, Hinano? Yeah. Then you want to go home together? We go the same way, right? Oh, 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 really? Yeah, we go the same way anyway. We walked home together. I was talking the whole time and Hinano just listened. Apparently, she isn't that good at talking to people. But when our eyes meet, she blushes bright red and acts awkwardly. I never get tired of watching her. Still, I wonder why people think she's chubby. As I was thinking and walking, I know, it's the hair and clothes. Uh, what? I get it. That's why people were calling you chubby. Uh... Oh, uh...
Then, I tried putting Hinano's hair up. Excuse me, Hinano. May I? I knew it. It was your hair that made you look chubby. Uh, um, Kaoru, it's embarrassing. Why don't you try wearing your hair in a ponytail? I think you'll look great. Oh, uh, yeah. Your uniform doesn't fit you well, either. These are my relative's hand-me-downs. <laughs> then I'll give you Miyako's uniform at home. Come. Hey, wait, your hand! Um, who's Miyako? My house is right there. In order to put a certain plan in action, I took Hinano's hand and brought her to my house. I'm home, Miyako! Welcome back, Kaoru! Yay! This is my older sister, Miyako. She's a first year in university, and as you can see, she's an easygoing girl. Oh, and could you be Kaoru's girlfriend? Uh, um... <laughs> she's just a classmate. By the way, Miyako, can I have your old uniform? I told Miyako all about Hinano's circumstance, that I wanted to do something about her being called chubby by her classmates. Then, Miyako gave a cheeky smirk and brought Hinano into her room. After a while... Hmm, I see. You have a wonderful lot. Let me do this here. Push them up, hold them, and put this between them. <laughs> Not there! <laughs> oh, then should I give you a sneak peek into mine? Miss Miyako, oh, what's that? Ah, please stop! Ah! It's fine, just the tip, just the tip, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I had no idea what they were doing behind that door, but I was glad they seemed to get along. And then, a few minutes later... <laughs> How is that? This is Miyako's masterpiece, the new Hinano Asakura! Hinano came out of the room looking very ladylike and beautiful. I couldn't tell that it was her for a split second. Her heavy hair was tied back neatly, and Miyako fixed her oversized clothes so that they fit perfectly. You're so beautiful, Hinano. You look way better like that. <laughs> yeah, I if you say so, Kaoru. Well, 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 how nice it must be to be young. Go on and hug her, kiss her, whatever you want, Kaoru. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. She's my classmate. <laughs> the next day, the classroom was restless from the morning. What? Are you really Miss Boring? Did you change your look? Oh, you're not chubby at all. Rather, don't you have an amazing figure? The people who used to make fun of her were very surprised. Hinano did look a little shy, but her expression was much brighter than before. <laughs> Good. Maybe she'd become more popular like this. I'm happy for you, Hinano. During lunch break that day, I was eating my lunch outside on the school grounds as always. Because I didn't have any friends that i get along with, I would often spend my times alone outside in a quiet place. Oh? What's wrong, Hinano? I... I wanted to eat lunch with you. Oh, sure. Wanna eat here? Y yeah But you've become more popular now. Why don't you eat with everyone else? Nah, I want to be next to you. <laughs> really? You're a little strange, aren't you, Hinano? Says the strangest of them all. <laughs> I would never forget the expression she made then. I couldn't help but stare for a while. What's up with them? After school, when I was about to go home... Um, Kaoru, let's go home together. Yo, Kaoru, wanna go home together? Serena, why the sudden invite? Why not sometimes? Come on. Well, I guess it's okay. Whoa, don't pull me like that. Uh, oh... At the end, I walked home with Serena, but she grabs my arms like this, so it's honestly very hard to walk. By the way, Serena, why did you invite me to walk home together suddenly? Nothing in particular, just felt like it. Oh, I get it. You don't have friends, do you, Serena? Huh? Just because you don't doesn't mean everyone's the same. She doesn't have to be that shy about not having friends. 
By the way, what did you do exactly to Miss Boring? Hmm? Nothing special. Ugh, quit lying. You were even eating lunch together today. Um, jealousy? Were you jealous because you don't have other friends? Uh, n n no way! I really don't get her. Why is she so frustrated like this? Could it be that you don't like the fact that Hinano and I were eating together? Uh, it's not you. I have a problem with Ms. Boring. She's supposed to be Ms. Boring, but she changed drastically, and the people around her are stupid too. You don't like Hinano? I don't like her quiet attitude and how she's always fidgeting around. It's like I'm looking at me back when I was in middle school. I kind of understood what she was saying. Back in middle school, I think Serena was quiet and shy like Hinano. Right now, she looks more flashy, but she may have turned into this because she was made fun of back then. But that's a different story. Can I say something too? I wanted to tell you this the whole time. Wh what is it? I don't like your attitude either. The way you always look down on people. Huh? You know that means you're doing the same thing people did to you to others now? I don't think that's good. And you were making fun of Hinano saying she was chubby. I think that's terrible. Th th that was... You were heavier than Hinano, right? What? Firstly, Hinano just has a wonderful figure and she's not chubby at all. You have a similar figure to hers and yet you're heavier. You can't go saying she's chubby then, can you? Uh, don't call me heavy! Anyway, if you keep up with that attitude, you'll be all alone again. Why are you worried about me when you don't have any friends yourself? Of course I'm worried. Why? Hmm, I wonder why. Is it because you're my classmate? Ugh, I, I don't get you. Just mind your own business, you idiot. Idiot? I do happen to have the best grades in our class, however. After that, many people started gathering around Hinano. I often saw her smiling and enjoying her time. On the other hand, Serena spent most of her time on her phone, looking bored as ever. It was a total opposite just a little while ago, but nobody went near Serena thereafter. So, I was right. Serena was left out of the class circle, and nobody talked to her anymore. I was a little worried about that situation. As days like that passed by for a while, one day, when I was sitting outside at the school grounds as usual, Serena came to sit a few seats away from me. It's rare to see you eating lunch here, isn't it? What's wrong, Serena? Uh, nothing. I just wanted to breathe some fresh air today. I get it. You couldn't stay inside the classroom because you were all alone. Oh, I didn't say that, did I? Then let's eat lunch together. Then you're not alone, right? Then, for some reason, Serena suddenly started crying. <sighs> I'm a terrible person. This is all my own fault. Just, just, just hate me already. Why, why are you always so nice to me? Why? I wonder. Because you're my classmate? Hate you? Why? <laughs> Idiot! I put my hand on her head and gave her a little pat on the head. Serena, you're regretting that you used to make fun of Hinano, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. She'll forgive you if you say sorry, I'm sure. Then, we saw Hinano come towards us. Um... Oh, you came at the right time, Hinano. Serena wanted to apologize to you for what she did. I don't care about that anymore, but... What's wrong, Hinano? Hinano then sat right next to me and opened up her lunch. I'm the one who will sit next to Kaoru. It seemed like she was saying that to Serena rather than to me. I didn't want to apologize to you, but I don't want to give up my spot next to Kaoru either. Then we're rivals now, aren't we? I'm not going to lose. Huh? You girls are both sitting next to me, aren't you? That's, That's not what we, we mean. mean! Oh, is that so? You two are so in sync, though. I'm glad you get along now. <laughs> I was an easy-go-lucky guy who didn't realize these two girls' feelings at that time. But there was one thing I knew. At this point already, I was not alone anymore. My name is Natsuki Nangoku. 
This is the time of year that my emotions are at the mercy of my childhood friend. All right. Class will begin now. Yukina, get off Natsuki now. No! I won't survive anywhere else. This pretty girl that's being a little baby on my lap right now is Yukina Fuyumine. She's on my lap, but she isn't my girlfriend. I need Natsuki's body heat. <sighs> All right, then. We can make an exception and turn on the heater. Yay! Okay, bye, Natsuki! Pay attention in class, alright? Gotcha! Finally. Peace at last. What a waste, man! You should have just let her sit there. You be her personal heater, then. I wish I could. My body temperature is average. I wish I had over 100 degrees like you. It must be from all that working out, right, hunk? Shut up. Yukina was always terrible with the cold, so she always touches me because I have a naturally high body temperature. Lunchtime. I'm gonna go buy something. Whoa! Don't pull me from behind, Yukina! Can you go buy me hot cocoa? I can't go out there. Alright, fine. She's getting lazier and lazier recently. Here you go. Ah, nice and warm. Here's your change. Oh, even the change is warm. She's warming herself up with the coins, too. Oh, I have a good idea. Can you hold all of my pencils and things before class? Nope. Jeez, good thing it's me. Anyone else will get the wrong idea. Well, so did I at first. Natsuki! Hey, Yukina! Is something wrong? Yeah, I need to ask you a favor. Will you hold hands with me? What? What are you saying? She wants to hold hands to school? People are going to think that we're dating. I mean, I wouldn't mind, but still. Aren't we skipping some steps here? I'm cold. I forgot my gloves, so can you keep my hands warm? Oh, that's what you wanted? Ever since, I've tried my best to ignore it when she would come close to me. She would hug me from behind, put her hands in my pocket, and even crawl into my coat at times but I reminded myself each time that she was just doing it for my body heat. I'm home. Damn, it's hot in here. Turn down the heat, Natsumi. Your thin little sister doesn't have an abnormal body temperature like some meathead in this house, just for your information. Hey, you want me to turn the AC on? You're gonna make your guest cry if you do that. Huh? We're having a guest over? Oh, you didn't hear at school? Huh? Thanks for having me. Hey, you gonna... Long time no see. Oh, Natsumi. You're so cute like always. Not that cute if you ask me. I had no idea that Yukino was coming over. What are you doing here? Oh, the heater at my house broke, so I decided to take shelter here. Oh, that sucks. It's gonna take three days to fix it, they said. Oh, that long? Wait, are you planning on... So, I'll be staying here. Oh! Crap! Oh no! Oh no! The only Yukina that I've been able to process is when she's in her cold mode. I'm still madly in love with the usual Yukina! Ah, <sighs> that felt nice! Oh my gosh! She looks so cute in her pajamas! When she's not feeling down from the cold, Yukina is so vibrant and rosy! Oh, she's so cute! Hey, let's go to my room and get away from my meathead brother. You need to stop talking about me like that! Yukina was going to be sleeping in my sister's room. We didn't have a guest room in our house, so I guess that was the next best thing. I'm next door, so don't be making noise until late at night, okay? You better not be eavesdropping on us! Yeah, right! But I'm having a hard time falling asleep. I know that our feelings aren't mutual. She never lays a finger on me unless it's cold. And if there was someone with a higher body temperature than me, she'd probably be over there. Sounds like someone's walking in the hallway. They must be having a snack party or something because it's the weekend. Whatever. Just don't think about it. Go to sleep. Huh? What? Why is Yukina in my bed right now? <sighs> Good night, Natsumi. Is she sleepwalking? Does she think she's in my sister's room? Hey! This is my bed you're in! <clears throat> don't hug me! Hey! Wake up! I'm gonna take the blankets if you don't! No, my blankets! I'm cold! Ugh. I can't see what's going on. 
But this texture... She has her hands under my t-shirt! <sighs> so warm. Whoa! What? Yukina started moving around, and her entire arm was in my shirt. Hey! Stop touching me so much! Hey! Are you serious? I was struggling to move, and Yukina continued to rustle around until she was completely in my shirt. Oh crap! This is way too intimate for me! But what happens if I wake her up now? She might think that I tried to take advantage of her while she was sleeping. And she may never talk to me again! I don't want that to happen. <laughs> so warm. Jeez. She doesn't even know how I feel about her. I peeked down and looked at her face. She seemed comfortable stealing my body heat. Her eyelashes. They're so long. I can't believe she fit in my shirt with me, though. She must be really thin. <sighs> you should be thanking me right now for my level of self-control! Oh, it's so bright. Huh? Morning? How was I able to fall asleep? It's like a miracle for a healthy teenager to be able to fall asleep in that situation! Yukino was gone. I thought that maybe it was all just a dream, but my stretched out t-shirt said otherwise. Good morning. I don't know if I can look at her in the eyes. Morning! Oh, she's acting quite normal. She wasn't there in the morning. So, she must have gotten out on her own. Maybe she was still kind of out of it? You can have seemed normal the entire day, and it was night again. Good night. Night! I didn't get much sleep last night, so I'll be able to sleep like a baby tonight. Huh? What?! Wait! Why is Yukina in my shirt again?! Yikes! Did you wake up? Duh! Shh! You're gonna wake up Natsumi! I deserve an explanation! She was out of it last night, but tonight, she was definitely awake. Were you just faking it last night? Oh, you noticed? No way! You were acting normal today, so I thought I was able to get in and out without you noticing! In and out? What am I? A fast food restaurant or something? I just want to make one thing clear. I was out of it when I came in last night. Alright, I believe you! So, get out! No, I don't want to! What? It was so warm last night. I haven't slept that well in so long! Is that all you care about? What about my feelings? So let me sleep like this tonight too, okay? Please? Is she testing me to see if I'll lay my hands on her? Oh, and one more thing that I want to make clear. What is it? You're the only one I would do this to, Natsuki. <sighs> Wait. That's a good thing, right? But damn. I don't know if I'll be able to control myself tonight after that. Wow. She really is sleeping like a baby. Mm -mm. Natsuki. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely not sleeping tonight. <coughs> ah! Sorry! When I opened the bathroom door, the prettiest girl in my school was sitting there. Her name is Yume. Just until the other day, she was just a classmate, but I can't believe my dad remarried your mom and you're my stepsister now. For some odd reason, I was now living with the prettiest girl in my school. Let me take you back a few days to where this all began. I'm home. My name is Koda. I'm just an introverted loner. I'm a junior in high school. As usual, I went to the game shop after school to buy a new game and came home. But, huh? Whose shoes are these? Wait, what? When I walked into the living room, the homecoming queen, Yume, was sitting there. Hey, Koda. About time you got home. Oh, by the way, I'm getting remarried. And this is my new wife, Kozue, and her daughter, Yume. What? Way to catch me off guard, Dad. <laughs> right? I've always wanted to surprise you like this. Yeah, it seems like he was serious about it. And my new stepsister was... Um, Kota from class, right? Uh, yeah. I can't believe you're my stepbrother now. This is kind of weird, don't you think? So, as these things go, we'll be living together. Starting today! Ha <laughs> You surprised? Whoa, what? My father has a playful personality. He told me that he purposely kept it all a secret to surprise me. You should really tell me these things in advance, Dad. Well, I guess that's how it's going to be. Uh, yeah. Now that we're family, you can just call me Yume, okay? Uh, okay, Yume. And so, this is how I started living with Yume. Hey, stop walking so fast, Kota. I'm on my way to school. This girl who's ordering me around is my childhood friend, Haruna. When we were little kids, she used to look up to me like a big brother. 
She was so cute back then, but as you can tell, she's being rebellious lately. What's with those bags under your eyes? Oh, these? Nothing. You better not be hiding something from me. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> no way I should tell her about Yume. She would just make a huge deal out of it. I'm home. Yeah, the prettiest girl in my school was my stepsister now, but nothing else changed. I finished school just as usual and came back home. I went to the bathroom to wash my hands when... <laughs> Don't look! Yume was standing there with just a towel wrapped around her. Whoa, sorry. She must have just gotten out of the shower. She was still a little wet. Sorry about earlier. No, it's my fault for not locking the door. Yeah, but I, I feel bad. Okay then, will you let me do something then? Huh? Yeah, sure, anything. Can I call you brother from now on, Kota? Huh? Is that all? Yeah, so from now on, you're the brother. I can't believe I have such a super cute sister now. Phew, this is gonna take a while to get used to. So now I have a new mother and a new sister. We were all enjoying a nice conversation over dinner just a minute ago. I returned to my room and was catching my breath when... Can I play games with you? Yeah, sure. But why so suddenly? It's always been my dream to play games with my brother. Yeah, yeah, take that. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Don't underestimate me now. We completely lost track of time as we enjoyed playing games together. Huh? Oh, yeah. We fell asleep playing games last night. Oh, good morning, brother. Morning. I woke up in the morning and a question popped into my mind. Why does Yume look up to me like an older brother? Hey, Yume. Why is it that you treat me like an older brother? Because you're a considerate person. When a child is lost and no one is willing to help, you run over and offer help. On the train, you offer your seat to the elderly, and at school, when someone spills something, you clean it up to keep everyone safe. I know how considerate you are. Oh, I see. Wait! Ah, we're running late! We were talking for far longer than we thought. You may realize that we were about to be late for school. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Well, I never expected the perfect student and prettiest girl in school wasn't a morning person. I'm human too, you know. It's been a few days since Yume became my sister. Her cuteness makes my heart skip a beat sometimes, but I think I'm getting along with her for now. I used to have this impression that she was a super capable and pretty girl, but... Watch a movie with me, brother! Alright, fine. Jeez, you can't do anything alone, can you? <laughs> that my mom remarried your dad, Kota, and that you became my brother. It was surprising that Yume was so needy at home. We became brother and sister and became really close, but I'm not used to unnecessary attention, so we haven't told anyone about our new situation. <laughs> I bet no one could even guess all the things that Yume and I do at home together. Hey, your face? It's kind of gross recently, Kota. Shut up. I can't help it. I was born with this face. Yeah, that too, but... It looks like you're hiding something. Leave me alone, Harana. Hmm. Whatever. Phew, I'm home. Huh? Harana? When I came home from school that day, my childhood friend Harana was sitting on my bed. When we were little kids, she used to respect me like an older brother. But... What? Is it weird that your childhood friend is over? We used to hang out like this all the time, didn't we? As you can tell, she's being rebellious recently. Oh, crap! Yume's not home yet, but if Harana finds out that she lives with me now... <laughs> hey, isn't it time for you to go home soon? What? I just got here. What are you talking about? By the way, that room next to yours, it was empty, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Why? I peeked in, but there's someone living there, isn't there? Damn! So yeah, basically, I told her everything. I explained how my father got remarried and Yume was my stepsister now and how I didn't want to attract unnecessary attention, so we didn't show it in school. I see. I knew there was something off about you recently. So, what does Yume call you at home? But, brother? Ew, gross. Just because you wanted a little sister, I can't believe you forced her to call you brother. I didn't force her. It's a mutual agreement. Treat me like a younger sister, too. What? It's not like I'm jealous of her, okay? Don't get the wrong idea now. Now well, hurry up and treat me like you treat Yume. What do you want exactly? Hmm, uh, let's see. Okay, pet me then. Now. Fine. She didn't seem like she would take no for an answer, so I reluctantly patted Harun on the head. 
She seemed kind of happy about it. Oh, it's been too long since you patted me like that. Uh, okay. <laughs> you better treat me like your little sister from now on, okay? I'm your little sister too from now on, so whatever you do for Yume, you have to do for me too, okay? Why? Don't worry about why. Haruna started demanding that I treat her like Yume. I had no reason why, but recently she's been coming over to my house often like when we were little kids. I'm tired. Massage my leg. Okay, L like this? She's so soft. And she smells good too. Yeah, that's the spot. A little harder. You're such a baby. I didn't want Haruna to spread weird stories about me to Yume. So I did as she told me to and started massaging her harder. To think that this is the same cute little girl that used to tag along behind me. Mm. Haruna's moan caught me off guard. And I felt my heart skip a beat. And Haruna realized that I'd heard her and she started blushing. There was an awkward moment of silence between us when... My after school activities ended early so I came home early today. Huh? Haruna? Yume usually came home late so she never encountered Haruna who was trying to act like my younger sister. But... Finally, they ran into each other. Uh, uh, Haruna told me to do this. Brother, I need a moment with Haruna. Y y yes ma'am. After seeing that scary face, I couldn't help but run away. <laughs> Kota is my big brother. We're the same age, but he's always treated me like a younger sister ever since we were kids. He's my big brother now. Shut up. Aren't you too old to be acting like a little baby and calling him brother? Well, I just want the person I like to be nice to me. What? Well, I can naturally be close to him if I act like his little sister, right? Wait, so are you telling me that you're just acting like a little sister because you like Kota? Yeah, so? Why don't you just tell him how you feel? Just look who's talking. It's so obvious that you like Kota, but you just act rebellious around him to hide your embarrassment, right? What? Yeah, right. I don't like him. <laughs> then why are you trying to be his little sister instead of me? Um, well, well, fine. I like Kota too, okay? Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Did I just hear that the prettiest girl at school has a crush on me? And she was using her position to get close to me? And on top of that, rebellious Haruna likes me too? Well, fine. You do as you want. Why do you seem so confident? Because no matter what you do, I won't lose to you. Oh yeah? Then maybe I'll do whatever I want. Oh, it seems like they're almost done talking. It seemed like they were done talking and ready to come out. So I went back to the living room so they wouldn't find out that I was eavesdropping. Sorry to keep you waiting, brother. We're done. Oh, okay. What were you guys talking about? It's a secret. None of your business. Haha, <laughs> I know exactly what you guys were talking about. So, that is how I started getting approached like little sisters from two girls who wouldn't admit their feelings to me. Phew, lunchtime. Would you like to eat together, brother? Uh, yeah, sure. What are you talking about? Kota brother is eating lunch with me today. Kota brother? Well, you are like my big brother, right? You have a problem with that nickname? Uh, I guess not. So I ended up spending lunch with both Yume and Haruna. Open up, brother. Mmm, yum. Oh, good. I'm so glad I woke up early to make it for you. Eat this, too. Huh? Uh, okay. Mmm, yeah, that's good. Right? Well, I did get up early to make it for you, so it better be good. My dishes are better. Right, brother? Kota brother? Mine's better, right? Yume and Haruna were acting like little sisters again. Hey, why are you guys competing to be my little sister? I just want you to spoil me, that's all. Well, I am pretty much your little sister. Always have been. Brother, would you go shopping with me after school today? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm going too. It's pretty crowded today. Here! Huh? Why are you holding my hand? You wouldn't want your little sister to get lost, would you? Me too. Yume held my right hand and Haruna held my left hand. Let me just clarify. You two like me as your brother, not as a guy, right? Um, for the time being, yes. Wouldn't you like to know? I know they like me like that. And I know that they're both just embarrassed to admit it. 
That's why they're acting like my little sisters to get my affection. But seriously, I wish I knew what's in store. One showering evening. H hurry up and let me in. My childhood friend arrived at my door. I'm soaking wet, so please hurry. My family was on vacation. Should I let her in or not? I can't. My body's getting hot. My name is Haima Kakaru. I'm a plain introvert mob character. Still, I did have friends whom I could talk to about anime and novels. <sighs> Cleaning is such a pain. Better finish it quickly and go home. I have a childhood friend named Akari Uchida. And this girl happens to be a cheeky brat. <laughs> What's this waterfall of rain aimed right at me? When I looked up, I saw a girl poking her face out of the window from the second floor! S sorry Oh, it's just you, Kakeru. Don't surprise me like that! Akari?! What do you mean it's just you?! What the hell are you doing?! I was cleaning! And I was just pouring out the water we used! You're the one who's wrong for just daydreaming and standing there! Ugh! Apologize first! She's so cheeky! That's right. The childhood friend of mine is a cheeky girl. If she stayed quiet, she'd be a beautiful girl. As you can see, her personality is twisted. And for some reason, she hates me. And it seems like she's mean like this to only me. Yet, I also hate to lose and tend to talk back to her like this. Recently, though, it's also become a pain. And I try to avoid Akari as much as possible. I've matured too, huh? Tim, it's cold. And, as expected, I woke up the next morning with a heavy cold. And Mom and Dad aren't coming back until the day after tomorrow. I reluctantly contacted my parents and the school, saying that I'll be absent. At around lunchtime, I started getting text messages from my friends asking me if I'm okay. But I didn't get one text message from Akari. The very reason I was put into this situation. I know she didn't mean to do it, but she could at least worry a little. But then, at evening the next day, I heard the doorbell ring while I was sleeping at home. Who is it? I'm coming! Oh! Akari? It was Akari standing outside my door. H hurry up and let me in! I I'm soaking wet, so please, hurry! Akari was all soaked in the rain, and I was able to see through her clothes. Where's your umbrella? And why are you here? Uh, I'm here to nurse you. Because it's my fault that you caught a cold. So, I thought I should take care of you. But it suddenly started raining. Apparently she came because she was worried about me. Oh. So, she does have a cute side after all. Oh, gosh. I guess I have to let you in. You'll catch a cold if you stay drenched like that. I do go in, even if you didn't let me. And if you did do that, you'd be trespassing, you know? Anyway, you should take a shower first. Tells her in the bathroom. And why are you so red? Did you catch a cold? N no I didn't What do you mean, take a shower first? Are you expecting something from me after that? Huh? I wasn't expecting anything from you. You don't have to nurse me either. Just go home after you shower. I don't want to give you my cold. I was honestly happy that she came to visit me, but uh, I don't have the energy to be with her right now. My head is dizzy with fever. I'm going back to my room. As I was sleeping in my room, I heard a silent knock at the door. Akari, who had just finished her shower, came into my room. Thank you for letting me shower. Good. And now... Wh wait! What? W what? You... Uh, the, what kind of clothes are that? Uh, I couldn't help it. I didn't have a change of clothes. I can't let her roam around my house in just a camisole. I went and got some pajamas from my mother's room and gave it to Akari. Jeez. She's too defenseless. I think I'm getting a fever again. After I got back into bed, 
I heard a knock on the door again. I made some oatmeal. Have some. Akari came into my room holding a tray with oatmeal. You... you... you don't have to! But I made it for you! Just eat it! <sighs> Fine! Hey, why are you holding the spoon? Well, see? I'm your nurse today. Say, uh... I can eat on my own! I feel like my fever is getting even higher. Oh, uh, the oatmeal is good, but my head hurts. It was good. Um, thanks. Y you're welcome. I finished eating, so you can go home now. I'll wash the dishes later. But, but... My body's strong. This isn't a big deal to me. Hurry, go home before it gets too late. I forced Akari to go home and went back to curl up in my bed. Gosh, how could he force me to go home? I came all this way to nurse him. And there's no way I can go home in these pajamas. I'll go tell Kakeru I'm going to borrow his mom's clothes. Kakeru? Uh... He still looks like he's in pain. I is he okay? Huh? What? What's this? Who's Miki? What is she to Kakeru? Uh... I wonder if she's the girl who Kakeru likes. If Kakeru is close with that girl, I don't like that. But it's possible. Kakeru's a good guy after all. He's nice, and it's not weird at all if someone liked him. Uh... It's cold. Kakadu, are you okay? What are you doing, Akari? <sighs> you should go home. It'll get dark soon. Don't worry about me right now. Don't scream. Oh, my head is banging. Oh, s sorry. It doesn't matter who that Miki girl is right now. I can't leave Kakadu alone like this. Oh, I know. I wondered for how long I was asleep. When I opened my eyes, I realized... Something was different. It seemed like my fever had healed, but my body was... What? In the dark, the first thing that came to my eye was Akari hugging me and sleeping. What's going on? What happened while I was asleep? I tried going through my memory, but I couldn't remember what happened at all. I'm sure I made her go home. Why is she here sleeping with me? Hey, Akari! Wake up! Uh, Kakeru? Why are you sleeping here with me? Because you look so cold, Kakeru. You don't have to do that much! I just wanted to, but was it annoying? Oh, why is she so honest and kind right now? It wasn't necessarily annoying, but you might catch my cold if you sleep with me, right? I don't mind. If it's your cold, I'm perfectly fine. Uh, are you making fun of me? I'm not making fun of you. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, hey, wait. <laughs> you're so cute when you're shy. I'm not shy. We haven't slept together like this since grade school, huh? Isn't it a problem if we slept together like this at this age? I have to make some space somehow. Stop! Don't move around like that! Oh, sorry. This is... Oh, hey! You've got to come close or else I can't keep you warm. What happened to you, Akari? It's like you have a different personality. Huh? Nothing. Rather, this is my true self. Kind of like how I feel. But what do you mean? Gosh, you're such a dull head. I've been in love with you since a while back, Kakadu. Uh, huh? I'm sorry I act so cold to you. I get so shy in front of you, Kakadu. Oh, um, it's not a big deal, so you don't have to apologize, but... So, to make up for it, I'm gonna nurse you with all my might. Here. Mm. Hey, wait! What? How does that happen? They say your cold gets better once you give it to someone else, right? So give it to me. With your mouth. No, 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 no! No way I can do that! My heart is 
thumping so loud. I think I have a fever too, but it seems like it's not because of my cold. What happened to Akari all of a sudden? Kakeru, you don't like me? It's not that I don't like you. Um, ugh, that's not what I mean. I want to be careful and cautious about something important like this. So, you like me? Um, that's... Am I allowed to just go with the flow? As a guy, what should I do? Honestly, my feelings at that time were... Akari's way too cute when she's being so sweet and childish! Wait a second! Why are you being so sweet and childish all of a sudden? Is it cutesy day today? I don't know about cutesy day, but I was worried. Worried? I was worried that you would be taken by someone else. Then Akari suddenly hugged me. Hey, hey, you're way too cute. I mean, why are you hugging me all of a sudden? I don't want anyone to take you, Kakadu. Huh? I, I don't get it. Liar, don't pretend like you don't know. I know there's a girl who likes you. Who's that? There's no one like that. While Akari and I were having a quarrel, the door suddenly opened. Kakadu, are you okay? Oh. Oh my. Ah! Aunt Miki! Aunt Miki? Oh, I see, I see. That's what it is. So you took off from school to enjoy your time with your girlfriend, huh? <laughs> wow. No, that's not... Uh, there's an important backstory to this, Aunt Miki. <laughs> it's okay, honey. I'll pretend I didn't see anything. <laughs> After she said that, Aunt Miki was gone with the wind. Uh, hey, Kakadu, who is that? She's my relative, Aunt Miki. She comes to our house sometimes when Mom is at work. Miki was your aunt? Yeah, that's what I was saying. <sighs> What's up with that big sigh? Is it me who needs to breathe properly? The next morning. <laughs> See, I told you. I got rid of my cold, but Akari caught one instead. Huh? Tennis at Karuizawa? Uh, <laughs> then we'll take care of her. I tried calling Akari's parents, but they were on a family trip for one night. Thus, it was decided that I would take care of her after all. Mmm, Kakeru. Water, please. Okay, okay. As I walked to the kitchen to get water, I thought about Akari. We weren't able to finish our conversation about last night. But, did Akari have feelings for me all this time? Honestly, the drastic change from cold mean Akari to sweet childish Akari <sighs> was insanely cute. But cute doesn't necessarily equal love. I have to face her properly. Akari, I brought the water. What? Hey! Oh, Kakadu, you're just in time. Can you wipe my body? I'm all sweaty. After seeing Akari's fair skin back, my mind went blank. Whoa, damn! I have to keep my calm. I promised myself that I would face her properly. But just let me say one thing. My childhood friend is insanely cute!